asking, I shall deliver. Um, a lot of people kept asking me this. So, here's the answer. Now, this is a seven-volume set, of which I only brought out um, three volumes. It is very unfortunate. There, there are six different translations of Plotinus, and all of them suck. They're all insufficient. One of them is Incomplete by Thomas Taylor. This one is by A.H. Armstrong. This is the one that everybody refers to. I actually uh, have the digitized works of Plotinus. I'm the one that stitched them together of uh, his Enneads. I've done a few translations of Plotinus. This is actually the most intelligent collection of, uh, of uh, true wisdom ever written. At least it still exists today. I mean, who knows what has been lost in the winds of time. Um, one side is Greek, ancient Greek. The other side is a kind of piss-poor English translation. Uh, Tom, I mean, A.H. Armstrong himself was uh, not very smart. I never trust authors or translators who are always uh, smiling. I actually don't trust people that smile that much. Not that I'm against anybody being happy, but I swear to God, the more often a person smiles, the less intelligent I know that they are. Um, some of the deepest thinkers that ever lived... Every time you see a picture of them, they're always miserable or they're like totally zoned out in space and time. They're, 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 their pictures are like this. <laughs> That's very, very true. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm smiling now. I'm laughing talking about that, so maybe that makes me an idiot, right? Um, no. <laughs> I just do love to laugh. Sometimes there's a crazy laugh and there's a humorous laugh. It's like a crazy laugh. It's like you've seen too much crap and all you can do but laugh is laugh rather than cry. And probably closer to that than rather the humorous laugh. Anyway, this is the most, uh, my uh, avatar icon that I actually use for uh, my YouTube channel is a bust of a Plotinus. Monos pros mono, and that's some ancient Greek for you. From the one to the one, as uh, Plotinus uh, said. Um, I've translated, his stuff is so hard to translate. It's just not, oh my god, it is It is. Imagine like taking an ancient language and then sticking it in shorthand in that ancient language and making it uh, part of the most cryptic, abstruse, uh, metaphysical, uh, dialectic ontology of, of uh, thinking that you could possibly... That's why reason two of the translators of Plotinus's works were constantly suicidal. They, they, just wanted to, they just perpetually wanted to kill themselves. Literally, that's the truth, by the way. That is the truth. Uh, <laughs> because the stuff is so hard. Um, ancient Greek is not that easy. Ancient metaphysics uh, in ancient Greek is really hard. Ancient metaphysics of Neoplatonism in ancient Greek is incredibly, insanely hard. Ancient Greek, ancient metaphysics, ancient Platonism of the actual original originator of uh, Neoplatonic thought. Neopl Neoplatonism is a BS term, by the way, too. It uh, doesn't mean anything. There is no such original designation as Neoplatonism or Neoplatonic. Just as the same thing as uh, original Buddhism was not a, actually a, a new religion at all. He actually the founder, and I translate ancient Pali, by the way, he called this uh, path uh, Isamaga Brahmayana, path of the absolute. It was a neo vedantic sramanic school of Advaita Vedantic uh, monistic thought, um, uh, a philosophy of uh, of uh, pure uh, Platinian monism. Nothing is known except through the modality of the knower, so it is no different than this stuff is. The reason why Radha Krishna and uh, Ananda Ketish Kumaraswamy and the rest of these Indian scholars of metaphysics later became so interested in Neoplatonic and Platonic thought is because there is not one BS degree of difference between ancient uh, Platinian monism and in its metaphysical ontology than that of original, uh, uh, say, Advaita Vedanta, Sri Sankaracharya, as found in the Upadisa Sahasra, the Viva Chudamuni or uh, the uh, monistic ontology of uh, earliest original. Let me say that word three times. Original, original, original Buddhism, um, which uh, was a uh, monistic ontology of the most hardcore kind. Um, however, all of that's been lost in the winds of time. You have to be able to translate ancient Pali. You have to be able to translate ancient Pali to read what the original says. Um,
Now that's the reason why uh, ancient, uh, not ancient, excuse me, uh, Indian metaphysicians says this, uh, such as Sarvapali Radhakrishnan and uh, Dr. Uh, Anandakitish Kumaraswamy, who, by the way, knew 27 languages. This is one of my, his, fa his book. He wrote over 50 books and hundreds of articles, knew 27 languages, and was insanely smart. This is one of his best books. was basically a collection of articles. Um, he's half... Uh, half uh, half Indian and uh, half English. He spent most of his time living in... I've got some of his handwritten letters. He died in 1947. His son gave me the rights to all of his father's works. His son, okay, um, gave me the rights to all of his father's works. And that was uh, Rama Pikumaraswamy, his son, who was a doctor, by the way. Uh, so these are all... Uh, this is one of my favorite books. I've probably read like six times. Um, I have the rights to this book if you want it. I've, it. It's been uploaded various places. This is Metaphysics, this collection of articles by Dr. Kumar Swami. 27 languages. He was once on the stamp of India. Yes, he was. Um, I actually was given the rights to all of his father's works by his son, who is now dead. He died uh, several years ago. We used to talk uh, quite often and talk on the telephone, too. His son uh, thought I was... Uh, brilliant and he said you can have the rights to all my father's works as long as you always give them away and you don't sell them and that's what i've always done i've always given them away for free so that's one of my favorite books i don't think i need to read it anymore i've already read it like six seven times if not more another ancient neopythagorean i say it's neopythagorean rather than neoplatonist because his is basically his he had access to Sirianus, had access, some of this stuff is so abstruse for you people. You people ask me what my favorite books were, the highest recommendation. These are it. But you know, if you read this stuff, it's gonna twist your mind like a like a pretzel. You're, <laughs> most people can't read this stuff. Um, but it's Syrianus, and uh, this is an English translation. I have the original Greek. Um, but even if you read the English of this, man, it will. It will make you. It will turn you into a different person. You will turn into half robot, and you will have a a mastery of a different sort of thought pattern that will basically let you see through any and all varieties of BS and nonsense. And it's kind of like having a weapon of the mind. If you study this stuff, your 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 mind will become like a weapon. I mean, it, I mean that seriously. Anyway, this stuff is incredible. I've got several copies of this. Uh, this one's on yeah, Metaphysics 3.4, uh, Commentary by uh, Syrianus. Um, I'll read actually a blurb here on the inside cover uh, from the author. Syrianus, original from Alexander, moved to Athens, became the head of the academy. There, after the death of Plutarch of Athens, and discussing Aristotle's metaphysics, he shows how metaphysics, philosophy, science was conceived by the Neoplatonic philosophers of late antiquity. He actually attacks Aristotle in this, so I'm not a fan of Aristotle. So he just goes over Aristotle and basically refutes him on all the points of Aristotle's metaphysics, uh, criticizing it and the alternative answers um, contrary to Aristotle and uh, those that are in agreement with him. Uh, so this is uh, the pinnacle of uh, this is the pinnacle of a different sort of thinking that people should have been taught this stuff in school but never were. It would make most people's heads explode. I've said this for ages now. I can always tell how smart someone is or is not. But all you have to do is go, hey, what do you recommend? You know, it's like, what is, all you have to do is ask somebody. It's like, what are the two most intelligent books you've ever read? Someone could let Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's like, oh God, you know. I can always tell how smart someone is or is not. And actually, I shouldn't say the word smart. Uh, there's a huge difference between intelligence and wisdom. Episteme versus gnosis. Huge difference. You know, there are people that out there that like never went to school. They can't even read or write, but they have incredible wisdom. So if someone's not smart, uh, that's a huge difference. A lot of people think, well, if you're, you know, if you don't know how to read or write, then you're just a dumbass. And I firmly stand against that sort of BS because it is, uh, it is a, uh, is a BS form of. Uh, of uh, Western thought that someone that's like uneducated, educated is just now another euphemism for brainwashed. It's like, you know, how much were you brainwashed in school? How much crap were you taught to regurgitate and memorize? That's what they mean by educated, okay? Education doesn't mean shit, 
Okay, there are uh, like half-naked sages out there in the various ass cracks of the world, like living in caves and wandering around with like a robe and a bowl. Some of them are totally uneducated. They don't know how to read. They don't know how to write. But they are far wiser than the whole lot of you combined. So it's a huge difference between episteme and gnosis, meaning empirical knowledge or what you call edumacation. It's like, how edumacated? Yes, edumacated. How educated are you, boy? You know, education doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean anything. So that would be referring to someone as smart or stupid. Stupid doesn't... There are plenty, there are plenty of people out... Not plenty. There are, <laughs> there's some people out there that are pretty stupid that are incredibly wise. And it's like, they don't know how to read or write, but they're far wiser than you. They are existing on another plane of intellectual being that uh, you, could, you can't even dream exists, much less uh, reaching there. And those people are technically stupid because they can't read or write. It's like, you're uneducated. It's like, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean shit. I know the difference between education and wisdom. And uh, the two are not directly connected. One is very, very conducive to the other. Epistemi is very, very conducive to noesis. But the two are directly not connected. So I don't make that confusion that the common Western and European mind does. It's like, you're not educated. You didn't know how to read or write. That doesn't mean shit. Okay? doesn't mean anything. But, uh, yeah. I always can tell what someone knows or doesn't know by the books they recommend. It's like, hey, what do you recommend? Like, what's the two smartest books? I don't mean, like, your favorite. What are, like, the two smartest books you've ever read? Like, wow, that's some really heavy stuff, man. I mean, that just, like, moved me. It, whatever someone's answer, I know immediately what they know or don't know. It's, like, the quickest way to determine, you know, what someone really grasps. That doesn't truly really tell you their soul, but it's, like... Wisdom will always reflect what uh, wisdom embraces or wisdom is. And if people make statements about like books, they would recommend, like, what are the two wisest books you've ever read? Well, uh, there's a John Grisham novel now. <laughs> no, 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 no. People don't care about wisdom anymore because we're too busy trying to get rich, trying to get laid, rich, pay the mortgage, feed the kids. Wisdom doesn't factor in it, into anything anymore, and that is why modern society is going right down the shithole. Because we are technologically advanced dumbasses. Yes, let me repeat that. Human society currently is a pack of technologically well-educated dumbasses. They're just going right down the crapper as fast as our little arms could flap. Big, big difference between education and wisdom. Big difference. But you don't get taught that stuff in school. All you get taught is how to pass tests in school. Schools don't teach you how to think. They teach you how to pass tests. And that's why modern society is going right down the crapper. <whistles> you know, that little handle on the toilet. 